हेलो बच्चों लेट्स रीड दिस क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन दैट देयर आर थ्री चार्जेस टू क्यू माइनस क्यू एंड माइनस क्यू एंड दे आर लोकेटेड एट द वर्टिस ऑफ एन इक्वलेटल ट्राइंगल ऑल थ्री साइड्स आर इक्वल इक्वलेटल ट्राइंगल एंड देन दे आर आसिंग एट द सेंटर ऑफ द ट्राइंगल वी नीड टू फाइंड द फील्ड एंड द पोटेंशियल ठीक है बच्चों सो फर्स्ट लेट्स ड्रॉ द डायग्राम ऑफ वॉट देर आस्क सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट चार्ज दिस गोइंग टू बी टू क्यू This is the second charge positioned here minus q, and this is the third charge positioned here minus q, and they are equidistant. So the distance between any two of them can be given as a. Okay, बच्चों. So this is the side of the triangle. Now what they are asking is the field and the potential at the center of the triangle. This is the center of the triangle. Now first let's calculate the field. The field due to the minus q will be towards minus q. So this is one, this is two, and these are the three fields which are going to be acting on this point here. So the fields are going to add up, and they're going to add up like in this manner, such that the field in this axis is going to cancel out due to the minus q's, and it's going to add up in this axis, the two q and the Minus q will add up in this axis, so therefore the field is not equal to zero. It is some positive value in the direction opposite to two q. ठीक है बच्चों? So it's going to be some value opposite to two q. Now let's calculate the electric potential at this point. Now potential is independent of direction. Potential only depends on the distance between two bodies. So This distance is going to be equal for all three charges. Since it's a equilateral triangle, the distance between the vertices and the center is going to be equal. So let that distance be equal to R. So the potential due to the two Q is going to be K times two Q divided by the distance R. The potential due to one minus Q is going to be plus K times minus Q divided by R. Plus again k times minus q by r for the other minus q. If we sum this, we're going to be get a value equal to zero because two q minus q minus q is going to give zero. So the potential, the potential is equal to zero, and we can see that the field was not equal to zero because it was adding up in this direction. So the fine. Let's check the options here. So the option A says the field is zero but potential is non-zero. So this is incorrect because the field is non-zero and potential is zero. The option B says the field is non-zero but the potential is zero. So this is going to be the correct option. Option B is correct. Option C says both field and potential are zero. As I just proved, field is not equal to zero. So this option is incorrect. And option D also says both field and potential are non-zero. So potential is equal to zero. So we can't say both are non-zero. This is also incorrect. ठीक है बच्चों? So option B is going to be correct. This is going to be the final answer for this question. That the field is non-zero, but the potential is equal to zero. I hope you understood my solution. Thank you very much.